Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher and today I'm on video. All right guys, today we're gonna be talking about the AGFA photo uh, filter kit. This is actually a close-up filter kit. This basically turns any of your lenses into macro lenses. Um, so I was a little skeptical. This is $10 on Amazon for the 77 millimeter kit. And I thought, I don't know, something doesn't seem right about that. So I thought, well, you know what, $10, I'll give it a try and we'll see how it goes. So after getting the kit, I'm honestly really impressed. I'm gonna show you some of the shots that actually came out of this and the difference that it has. So basically, if you don't know what close-up filters are, they basically turn any of your existing lenses, whether you have like an 85 millimeter lens, that's really nice, you know, it's an F, you know, 1.5 or something like that, or T1.5, and you want to turn it into a macro lens so you can get really close up. So what that a macro lens basically does is it allows your focusing distance to be much closer. And that doesn't mean that you can zoom in farther suddenly and you can be, you know, far away and you can zoom in on like some animal's eye. Because uh, I saw there was a couple of reviews and people thinking that way, but that's not the case. Basically, it allows you to get so, so close to someone and actually focus, whether it's on their eye or on you know a, a piece of equipment or something like that. It just allows you to get closer to focus. This could be great for weddings if you want to do like ring shots. Uh, you know, a lot of different things like that. So it's definitely pretty cool. So after being very skeptical, but I thought, hey, you know, $10, might as well try. I ordered them and I slapped them on my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera that I'm filming on right now with. And um, I'm going to have some test shots I'm going to show you. The test was shot with the Rokinon 35mm T1.5, which on the Blackmagic Pocket becomes around a 7580. Honestly, I think it's a amazing results coming out of these things. Um, you know, granted, they're not 100% sharp and 100%, you know, they don't keep the contrast as well as probably some high-end ones do, but at the same time, for $10, it's gonna do what you need. Um, the way I look at these is they're specialty shots. I'm not gonna shoot a whole film with these. Um, you know, an ND filter, that's something that you wanna invest good money in because that's something that's gonna be sitting in front of your glass, um, you know, during, it could be an entire shoot if you're outside. Uh, you know, a close-up filter is gonna be for specific shots here and there. So personally, I'm not too worried if there's any color shift, color tint, or if there's any loss of contrast or sharpness. For me, it's sharp enough and it works perfectly fine. The cool thing is the kit comes with a 1, 2, 4, and 10, which are completely stackable. So you could basically have like a 17, I think, or 15, if I, no, 17, which to me, I think would be way too shallow and too much. But it's really nice if you want to do a 4 and a 2 to get a 6, or you know, a 2 and a 1 to get a 3 if you want a little less than the 4. So you kind of have some options that you can do with that. Now these are a lot cheaper than some of the higher end ones. I know Polaroid makes ones that are like 50 bucks. Um, that are coated, these are not coated, but I'm not really sure that makes a massive difference. Um, and the way I look at it is, even if I were to ruin these things, they got scratched and they got messed up, and you know, I had, to, I had to replace them five times, that's the same price as a Polaroid. My guess is I'm not gonna go through it five times. Tiffin or Schneider, any of those really high-end ones, most likely those are gonna be in the 150 to you know 250 range for a kit like this. You're talking, you're replacing these, these kits 25 times before it pays for itself, which I doubt you'll ever do. I think the actual filter case itself is great. Um, it came with two extra pockets, which is great because I had a polarizer and I had an ND filter that I could slip in there and use. So it was really nice because it kind of, you know, for $10, I got a filter kit and also a actual filter bag. So that was really nice too. So basically with these lenses use a little bit of contrast, a little bit of sharpness, but you get the effect that you're looking for. And if you're in a controlled situation where you can control the lighting, you can control the lenses and all that different stuff, I think these are an awesome kit. I mean, I think, I think the bag's worth the $10 alone. Um, so if you're looking to get these, um, pick them up. I linked them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just kind of a super quick little review and to kind of show you something really cool I found. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.